playing the waiting game with a mature buck, it's good to know if you're actually in the game or not in the game. Three questions come to mind. Is my equipment safe? Solid? My personal favorite? Comfortable? If you answer no to any of those three questions, chances are you only think you're in the game. Remember, success always begins with a choice. So get in the game. And go muddy. With serious gear, for a serious hunter. This year I got a brand new piece of property to hunt. Back in early June I put some covert cameras over some buck X. Now it's middle of July and I can't wait to see what's on them. Those cameras are the new Covert CA 3.0s. They're awesome little cameras. On four AA batteries, you can take three to four thousand pictures, and you can put up to an eight gig card in it. So you can stay away from these cameras for a long time. That's really the key to getting pictures of mature deer. We put our Covert cameras over Buck X mineral sites. If you don't think Buck X can bring in the deer, check out this. I think those results speak for themselves. Now I want to take a little time to introduce you to some of the deer we've been watching. I hope that you'll join us on future episodes of FDP to watch as these deer develop their headgear even more, and hopefully we'll get to show you some close-ups of some LDPs. If you don't know what that is, those are laying down pictures. This first deer I've been getting pictures of since early June. He has a huge notch out of his left ear, so we've been calling him Evander Holyfield. As you can see, he's an awesome, awesome deer. Some of the early pictures I got, I thought he was going to be just an 8, but now his G4s are splitting, and so he's going to be a stud of a 10. Evander shows up to the Buck X site a lot, and he's always alone. He's a really old deer. I can tell you one thing, when I see that ear in that rack this fall, I'm in. Next is Wide Load. He's got huge brow tines, and he's very wide. He's going to be another shooter for sure. His tines are a little short, but we're hoping in the next few weeks that's going to change. Last is Lefty. Lefty is my favorite deer. He has a crazy left side. His G1 on the left side is split and his G2 is enormous. From what I can tell, Lefty is a loner. He's way back in the really thick stuff, surrounded by corn. Had 99 pictures on this camera. Every single one of them was of Lefty. He's going to be a great deer. We're always going to know that it's Lefty on the film whenever we see him. We were on our way to check some cameras in this other bean field when these two guys stepped out. They looked like some awesome deer and we didn't want to spook them, so we just turned around and got out of there. Hopefully we'll bring you some pictures of them real soon. Change is hardly ever welcome until it proves itself worthy. Meet the newest bow from Ross Archery, the Crave. A redesigned predator to make your hunt count. The Crave boasts an extreme, lightweight, fully machined skeletal riser with a new slimline grip that means less torque. Dual locking limb pockets that provide a more stable shooting platform and a newly designed two-track dual sync cam system that increases speed and accuracy. The Crave also now incorporates a newly designed limb stop for a rock-solid back wall that eliminates creep and a proprietary anti-vibration system. All wrapped up in real tree camo. Crave. Feed the appetite. The Ross Archery Bow, worthy of change. Buck X, the latest deer tracked and powder blend with a whopping 20% plus crude protein. It comes in a 32 pound heavy duty resealable 5 gallon bucket that gives you enough for the entire season. Buck X, it's a blend bucks just have to have. Go to buckxproducts.com. 
or ask for it in your local pro shop. Sticks Archery in Peculiar, Missouri is your full service shop from certified instruction to brand new bows. Sticks Archery is FDP's official pro shop. Please visit them at sticksarchery.com. Now we're going to switch gears and take you back to one of our spring turkey hunts. All right, it's May 6th. This is the last week of the Missouri season. We're going to go roost some turkeys tonight. Jordan's up to bat first thing in the morning. We're going to kill one. We didn't have any luck roosting the turkeys that evening. It really didn't matter. The next morning there was a massive thunderstorm that came through and we had to wait to go in anyway. set up the parade began turkeys galore We sat there and every jake and hen in the county come right into our decoys. The gobblers just kind of stay out of bow range and when the hens come by they just fall them right off. And bam, right then, Brian looked out the back of the blind and there was two gobblers. Some soft calling, all the commando calls and they were coming right in, they were on the line. our decoy it looked like he was going to tear him up so I had to shoot him that had to defend our decoy. He's a pretty good bird, three quarter inch bird, about nine inch beard on him. He's a really good bird. <laughs> 